Hello everyone, myself Vinay. I completed my bachelor's in electrical and electronics engineering from Merits Engineering College, Andhra Pradesh. First of all, I would like to thank IJSR for giving me this wonderful opportunity to project my project details. Before going to the project, my project is about optimal placement of compensating devices in distribution system by using PSO algorithm. Before going to the project details, let me explain why I have chosen this topic. As we all know that there are three major divisions in power system. They are generation, transmission and distribution. Apart from the two, distribution plays a crucial role in nowadays because there are lot of losses in distribution system when compared to generation as well as transmission. So to minimize the losses in distribution system, I used this project for to minimize the losses as much as I can. My project is dealt with the placement of fax devices in distribution system by using PSO algorithm. My project, these are the contents of my project, abstract introduction, what are the drawbacks of DZ while we are placing in distribution system and the results of my project. Coming to the project, my project is about placement of UPFC in distribution system by using PSO algorithm. As we all know that UPFC plays a crucial role in nowadays because it has the ability to control both active and reactive power flows. And then first of all, UPFC has the access to control both STATCOM as well as triple SC. As you all know that UPFC placement is more reliable and then more easy when compared to the placement of DZ. And my project is uh, uh, applied for uh, IEEE 14 bus system, 30, 39, 140 bus systems. Introduction. As we all know that uh, fax, as I recently told you that fax plays a crucial role in nowadays because the fax devices are very less expensive when compared to the remaining ones. If we place DZ, it is cost expensive. So my suggestion is that uh, placement of UPFC is more uh, easy than placement of DZ and, and the fax devices are very reliable and then it is easy to implement. Why I have chosen PSO algorithm is in the sense when compared to GA algorithm, GA algorithm is more complex when compared to PSO algorithm. PSO algorithm is as much simple as anyone can easy to understand but GA algorithm seems too complex and it has some time to understand and it has time complex in nature but PSO algorithm is short and sweet as we all know that uh, it is easy to implement in any system. This is the block diagram of UPFC as we know that this TATCOM and then triple SC these are connected to the DC link this is the DC link and as we know that um, while we are placing a DZ, there are a lot of drawbacks. Uh, first one, I recently told you that uh, cost expensive. And then while we are placing DZ, it uh, seems to be complex in distribution system. Because uh, uh, if we look at out layout also, it should be complex in nature. When we use placement of uh, UPFC, it's not uh, that much complex. It is simple to implement. And for uh, solving the differential equations in DZ, it takes, uh, we have to use each loop for KVL. We have to apply each KVL for each loop. So it seems to be complex. And then it we have to frequently check the steady state analysis and as well as it will take uh, time to, to think. So uh, before uh, placement of DZ, Placement of UPFC is more uh, preferable than the DZ. These are the results of my system, bus system. I have used 14 bus system. As I recently told you that uh, UPFC placement is more important than the placement of DZ. Uh, you know that um, how you are going to place, you have a doubt that how you are going to place uh, UPFC. I have used, uh, I used uh, 
fuzzy approach for the placement of UPFC by using fuzzy technique if there are losses then it will show so and so much as certain losses so at that time I placed UPFC by using fuzzy technique I have placed UPFC in 14th the bus system as you see in that while I was placing for UPFC in 14th the bus system there is a clearly voltage profile implement see the violet line indicates the before replacement of UPFC and then the green line indicates the after placements of UPFC while I have placed the UPFC then voltage profile has improved next coming to the underloading nowadays uh, we are all uh, facing lot of uh, drawbacks due to uh, we are all using induction machines which uh, lacks power factor so uh, we are all using low power factor and underloading so in that uh, underloading conditions we able to improve the voltage profile as much as it can because uh, it is also when we are uh, placing uh, UPFC it seems to be easy but uh, it for underloading it uh, increases only a little bit see there is an increment in uh, voltage profile in 14 bus system next after that while we are using overloading when we are in uh, overloading conditions there is a lot of improvement in see let's see lot of improvement in voltage profile improvement because uh, for overloading uh, nowadays there are lot of um, drawbacks in losses so and then the demand was increasing day to day but we are able to meet our daily requirement so to meet our daily requirement first of all we have to minimize the losses as much as we can if we are able to minimize the losses then there should be a there should not be a requirement of uh, demand so we have to minimize the losses in distribution system especially so that's why my project will help in future for uh, to minimize the losses in distribution system thank you one and all for uh, being patience and thank you for watching